Nearman Condition, the home of Collected oh, Edition. That cover is so awesome. Absolute format is the best way to own this store. Time to empty those wallets and fill those shelves. How's it going, all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Nearman Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And join me today for my overview of the 2000 AD Art of Kevin O'Neill Apex Edition. So, stay tuned. And welcome back, everybody. The first thing we're going to do is get this Apex Edition out of its cardboard box. They all come in these cardboard boxes to keep them protected. So here's the cover of the Apex Edition, 2000 AD, Art of Kevin O'Neill. And here's the Star-Lord cover, Blast Into Your Future. And then the Apex Edition down there. And before I even turn it around, I did want to do a quick little size comparison. So here it is compared to the size of a trade paperback, the standard size trade paperback. And those are the dimensions of a single issue a floppy so see how much bigger this is and an artist edition from idw it's the same thing it's the actual art that was drawn on the comic book pages but see how much bigger it is compared to this right here now let's take a closer look at the rest of the book at the spine of the book here you have the 2000 ad art of kevin o'neill and the apex edition and the 2000 ad logo down there and then the back of the book featuring Nemesis, the 2080 art of Kevin O'Neill Apex Edition, the ISBN down there, and a little bit about the project. Uh, now, before I crack this open, I do want to go ahead and show the eye right there. This is sewn binding, and it is printed in this thick matte paper. We'll be looking at some of the art in here. Um, but also give a huge thank you to the folks at rebellion 2000 ad for sending us a copy of this big beautiful book so let's crack it open and see what is in here okay so let's go ahead and open this up there's your end sheets right here i love when there's designs like that original art of course this time around the art of kevin o'neill apex edition 2000 ad uh compiled by kevin o'neill designed by sam gretton and then edited by Oliver Pickles, as well as the repro graphics are by Joseph Morgan. You have an introduction and a forward. The introduction is by David Roach. And this is a really powerful introduction, talking about how they usually get artwork, original artwork. Um, and it's usually because a lot of the artists end up selling their original artwork. But it wasn't the case with Kevin O'Neill. Kevin O'Neill kept a lot of his original art. A forward here by Matt Fraction, talking about the first time he got to see the artwork of kevin o'neill now i am not an expert on kevin o'neill nor his work on nemesis i'm vaguely familiar with that era uh, when he was publishing stuff over at 2000 ad uh, like works in judge Dredd or nemesis i've seen his work in judge Dredd, but living in america the first time i ever saw his artwork was in martial law and then probably where most people know the name from is from the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh, and sadly, he passed away last year in 2022. And in the introduction talks a little bit about that, how, you know, he never got to see the finished product. And this was going to be like a testament to his wonderful art. But instead, this became a memorial to his wonderful art and the person that he was. There's a really touching afterward by Dave Gibbons that... It makes me wish I grew up with his artwork, like everybody from overseas. I know a lot of my viewers are huge fans of his, and they're very excited for the Nemesis hardcover collections. Uh, so what you get through these pages, by the way, there is the table of contents right here telling you where you're going to find each of these particular pieces of art. Uh, you'll usually see when they were published, or at least what issue they were published in. And it's really cool to see an artist just keep a lot of this art. And some of the stuff in here has never been seen by anybody. Uh, the original art, that is. Because usually what happens, like I said, they, they sell this stuff. Artists do, and you know, they have to. Whatever, to make ends meet. Uh, this is Robo Busters, which I know about ABC Warriors, but I wasn't familiar with Robo Busters. 
And I knew about ABC Warriors because of my wonderful viewers that whenever I did a Judge Dredd video, they were like, oh, Omar, you're a big Transformers guy. You gotta check out ABC Warriors. And I was like, really? Uh, yeah, okay. And I did. I've, uh, they actually sent me some of those books. Uh, and then going through my Judge Dredd readathon, like his Judge Dredd later on looks so different than what you see here uh, towards the beginning. I mean, this was like normal Judge Dredd. This is from 1977. Later on, the Judge Dredd that I remember standing out definitely has that Kevin O'Neill flair to it that uh, that he took over to martial law. And I'll, I'll find some pictures here in a little bit, but just going to go through some of these pages of this internal artwork. My goodness. These books are absolutely stunning. And down here is the page number and then where they originally came from. Like this is Judge Dredd, the 1981 annual shock page one and this is the abc warriors book two epilogue page three so this makes me really excited for oh <laughs> that is freaking awesome this makes me very excited for the nemesis collections those i believe there's going to be six hardcovers yeah this is the judge thread that i remember i was like oh my gosh this is like his stuff on martial law there's just something special, something original about his Judge Dredd when it came from this era. It is very, very standout. Like, it stands out above, you know, Brian Boland, who, of course, by the way, he also has an Apex edition. I think it's sold out, but it might be back in stock. I'll have to check with my contacts at Rebellion 2000 AD. So this is showcasing his art in chronological order uh, when it came out. So we'll be looking at stuff here in the 80s, and then, of course, some stuff that was altered or and it, it, it remains unaltered in um in this collection i think it's just mainly some of the pictures uh from i think it's the nemesis uh story Jeez, just the amount of detail that goes into some of this uh but yes i knew him from martial law which came over to america and then of course uh league and i want to say that both him and alan moore wanted to do another league story and like I said, sadly, he passed away in 2022. It's a big loss to the comics community. And there he is, Nemesis the Warlock right there. It's a shame that he didn't get to see this final product, nor the Nemesis hardcovers that are coming out. But it's wonderful that he got to keep this artwork and is able to share it now with the rest of the world, even though he's, you know been gone for almost a year now i think he passed away late november of last year and again some original art printed in this big beautiful oversized format and down here telling you where it's from the book has 160 pages by the way uh here is the afterword and this is what i was talking about this is a beautiful afterword uh from dave gibbons talking about his time with kevin o'neill when he first met him and we'll go back uh, to look at some previous artwork not every page, of course. Talking about, you know, when they went to a convention, his best memory of him. But at the very end, you know, he talks about how he thanks him for being a wonderful human being, for being a storyteller, uh, and for being his friend, but also for giving him his career. And then he says, I'll miss you. And I thought that was so beautifully put uh, when you're saying goodbye to a friend and how this book, like I said, was supposed to be a big tribute to him while he was still alive and he was, you know, letting these pages be scanned and instead it kind of became a memorial to him which is a shame which is a case that happens right like his legacy will live on because of books like this and all his stuff that he did uh in the works of comics whether it's martial law or nemesis the warlock it's crazy yeah so this makes me really really excited though i think the only nemesis i got to read was the best of 2000 ad so it makes me excited for it yeah that's <laughs> judge dread what the heck I, I will say there are some short stories through here and just a few that is the complete short story. So I thought that was really cool because you can see uh, the lettering is all throughout the book. Uh, there is, let's see, right here, I think, it says that this is an unaltered art piece right here. And it's not the only one. And this came from the Nemesis, the Warlock, the Final Conflict, episode 10, page 6. So the book has 160 pages. It retails for $123.99. And there is no dust jacket. There's no slipcase with this one. It's just 
art on board, but what you expect. And it's really cool to see like the color stuff collected in here through these back pages. I didn't go through all of them, but some of them. I just wanted to show off what the colors look like. That, as they say, is that. If you're interested in purchasing this Apex edition, don't forget to check out our sponsors. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first-time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content, the page count, and build of this particular Apex Edition. Let me know in the comments down below if you've picked any of these up and what other Apex editions you want to see collected from 2000 AD. I would love to know all those comments down below. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. And thank you so much to our patrons for making videos like this possible. Everyone, stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.